What's up guys, I'm Prowl Tricks, are back with a brand new Minecraft tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a wave machine. It's a really simple build, really cool build. It doesn't really have a purpose, but it looks really cool. You can add it to some intricate builds, add some creativity to it. Anyway guys, let's get into it. Alright guys, so right here, as you can see, this is the wave machine. And you can make this as large as you want, or as small as you want. This right here, you can make it even smaller than this. You can do about 3x3. Three three. This is actually a 4x4. Four four. As you can see right here, I'm about to demonstrate how it works. Click the button, and bam, there you go. It creates a pretty cool wave with the minecart. You make it massive, guys. I mean, like, you can make it like a thousand blocks and make massive waves. It probably really lag your device. But as you can see, it just looks really cool. It doesn't really have any purpose at all. And you can make it any color you want, but you have to use slime blocks. Can't change the color of the slime box. Slime blocks, obviously. Blah, can't talk. But it looks really cool, guys. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to build it. Alright, guys. So you want to start off by getting any block of your choice. Place them in a square pattern just like this. As you see, place them one block apart as well. Otherwise, it will not work. They can't be two blocks apart. It has to be one block apart. I'm going to do it three by three, as you can see. Very small, very simple to build, so it won't take so long. Next, you're going to place some repeaters just like this, running into each block sideways. And then you're going to want to get some more repeaters and then turn them sideways just like this right here. Make sure they're running into each block and do not put any tick delay on them. Next, you want to get some redstone and hook the first repeater into the rest of it and then add two on the back of it just like this. That's where you're going to put the rest of the repeaters later on. Next, you want to get some pistons and place them on top of each block facing directly upward. I mess up in just a second, as you can see. I keep messing up a lot. But you want to place them facing straight up, just like this. And again, you don't want to put any tick on any of the repeaters. Otherwise, it will not work at all. Just because, like, you want them to run all fluently, so there's no tick in between. It does take a second for it to start up anyway. Next, you want to place some sticky pistons on top of all of them, just like this, as you can see. And make sure it's on directly on top of them, not on the side of them or anything. As you can see, just like this right here little demonstration of how it looks in case some people I know some people like to like just look at the build and then just go build it they don't want to watch the entire video as you can see it's very simple just like that no tick on any of them next you want to come back with two repeaters at a two tick two tick delay on the end of that and then add some more yeah redstone right on the end of that and then you want to come out with one block and then put a redstone torch right on that as you can see it lights them all up so they're all facing up next you want to come up with some more blocks of your choice as I said before take that one away add one just right there take that one away as well and then you want to put a torch on the end of that block and then place some redstone right on that block in front of it just right there and then on top of that block as well next you want to come back with some repeater another repeater and then place the redstone on top of that delete that block don't place anything on that just yeah place some redstone on top of that and then come back with a button right there and then you want to put a two, no, yeah, one tick delay on that repeater right there. I forgot to do that, but I'll have that in just a second, as you can see, right there. Just a one tick delay, and there you go, guys. That's pretty much it, except you, then you're going to want to add your rails on top of it for your mine carts. Just like this, add them on top of all the rails. Make sure you get your mine carts evenly on top of them. Don't bump into them, otherwise it will mess them up. Later on, you can see in the video that I did bump into one of them, so it's not completely even, but it still works on as long as you don't bump into them perfectly. Just want to keep them even, just like that. And there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. That's all you got to do. Next, just click the button, and it's good to go. Just do not bump into any of them. I didn't place one of them right, as you can see, just right here in a minute. The first click, by the way, will not jump because it's got to get rid of the mine carts, as you can see, just like that. It doesn't really do much. And then the second one, as you can see, launches them all into the air like that in a wave pattern. The one in the back is the one I bumped into. Didn't really place it evenly. But as you can see, guys, it works perfectly. It runs pretty smooth. doesn't really cause much lag, as you can see. Other than my tablet's just really, really slow. But it works infinitely, guys. Just keep pressing the button, and it, it, nothing you got to go into it. Just keep pressing it, and add it again, add a one tick delay, and it just works perfectly, guys. And it's really fun to do, and I just put it in an intricate build, mess around with, and stuff like that. Looks really good, guys. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you love subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.